These episodes are just like the pure essence of the characters and what we did together. It's a project unlike anything I've ever seen before. It's so weird that it's happening, but it's so cool. I'm getting impatient for the final thing to get done just so people can see it and be as excited about it as we are. Your minds are gonna be blown, y'all. As a person that has been a lifelong fan of cartoons, it's kind of been a dream to work on one from a production standpoint, let alone from a voiceover standpoint, and now to kind of marry them all together and have it be based on something that I kind of made up is crazy. At the end of the day, the creators of this property are professional voice actors, and seeing them working on their own disparate projects is cool, but seeing them all in one room together, uh, it, it's so good. We are just a group of high-key nerds, but we also happen to be, you know, good at what we do. It's like we're craftsmen who make tables, except we are great with voice work and, and now just endless improv with each other. Voice acting as a character that I created in a show that I helped create. It's both the end of a long voice acting journey and also the beginning of a new voice acting journey. Give us a couple, rolling on 45. Finding a director for this project was challenging, partially because we have very good directors as part of our cast who do phenomenal work, but we all also understood that we wanted somebody outside of the room who could make us better than we could be on our own. It was a very short list, and at the top of it, of course, was our good friend, Mary Elizabeth McGlynn. I've been directing all of these amazing actors for years. For me, creativity comes with trust, and I think we all trust each other enough to help bring out the best with each other, and there's enough respect there to make sure that this collaborative area is safe. Beyond all of us just personally Loving Mary Elizabeth McGlynn. You may remember her as Zara back in campaign one. On top of just coming and doing, you know, guest episodes for us, she she actually watched the series. She would text us during the game and be like, oh my God, I can't believe that just happened. So she knows who our characters are and she knows where they're going. We didn't have to give her any kind of information download. She knows it and is part of it. Those few episodes that I actually got to go on as Zara in Critical Role changed my life. It changed my perspective on so many things, and it taught me how important storytelling was. It's been amazing uh, watching her come into uh, each one of the sessions, settle us down, get our minds in the right space for where the episode is, and then just step back with her baton and just start to conduct the symphony of idiots that's in there. When we started this whole thing, playing tabletop around Matt's dining room table, we were all gathered together, the eight of us, in a room face to face. And now recording the cartoon, we are all eight of us in a room together, and we are creating a story together, just us eight friends. Everybody at a mic in one room, and that energy was electric. Stepping into that booth the first time was obviously very, very exciting. I think all of us were like, is this a joke? Is someone like pulling a prank on us? <laughs> we were giddy, giddy with excitement. The joy and elation that was in that room was something that still is carried through every aspect of this process. The energy in the room when we're recording is just like it was in those early days when we were making each other laugh, cracking each other up, laughing at each other's mistakes and flubs. It's an interesting, strange mix between extremely professional and a very filthy preschool where everyone's swearing all the time. <laughs> you know, we've all been in the booth with each other in various ways in the past anyway, but it's so different when it's something that you've created. I've never been part of a show where the main cast were also more or less producers. So we have an intense amount of control with what happens. So the challenge for me with this was to distance them all from that and have them all be in the moment in the studio and just to let them run with it. Mary is so in tune with the actors. Give us one more version that's got a little of that scan and bounce. Less earnest. She knows exactly how to get us out of the comfort zones of our character. 
which I think is important. We know these characters so well that I think sometimes that can get in our own way. Having her ideas and her overall creative view and lathering that in with ours has helped us elevate our performances and bring it to the best version of it it can be. Three, two, one. <laughs> Not all animation allows actors to record in group settings, but it invariably gives a more nuanced performance and also provides a better opportunity for chemistry to happen in the group. We'd all been imagining it and it was just as much fun and, and inspiring and beautiful a thing as we thought it would be. Lightning in a fucking bottle just happening every time we got in the studio. That was uh, just the greatest thing ever. And we got to do it a couple times. And then the pandemic hit. And then everything, of course, fell apart everywhere. Okay, so this is where I have been doing my twinning. Recording studio. This is legit. This is where the magic happens. We found that we quickly had to go remote, just like everyone else. Now we do everything on Zoom, through either Source Connect or IPDTL. For us on the voiceover side, we were partially prepared for that. Most of us have some kind of a rig set up at home so that we can audition. I mean, I personally had put off trying to make a good home booth for myself for years, but then suddenly, like, the world shut down, and it's funny what <laughs> a little panic will do as an incentive. I had to completely re-overhaul my office in the period of a couple weeks to make it a studio. We tried to find the area of our house that was most insulated, something that didn't share an exterior wall. And for us, that was our closet and our bedroom. It already works because most of the clothes in your closet act as a natural dampener. Once more, into the darkness. It was definitely hard not to feel concerned that we might be losing a piece of the magic by having to switch to a remote recording session. I really miss being able to do it all together. But thankfully, a lot of us came up in video games, so we're used to the solo recording experience, and a lot of us can still deliver at the top of our game without having other people there to play off of. We record each individual actor from home, usually one at a time, but sometimes two or three people can record together via the magic of online communication. So if there are scenes where you really want that more conversational dynamic between two actors, we've done sessions where Liam will stay on the Zoom call with me and he is reading his lines. That way Keyleth sounds the most genuine in her response to him. Even though we're separate, there are some positives to it. Since we're recording individually remotely from, from different locations, we can talk over each other all we want and it's getting picked up on two separate mics and the audio is totally clean. You can have a little bit more of a natural read almost. What did I say? It's not like I suggested we take a bath together or something. What? So you get a much more fun time with improvisation and laughing and reacting and it's, it's live and it's real. So I see that as one of the great silver linings of having to do everything at home. The other thing it sort of affords us is we get to go back and fix anything that we think is bad. So like Liam will watch an episode of the show and be like, ooh, I wish I could redo that line. And we're like, hey, guess what? You can. You own a microphone. Go record it. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, because I can potentially spend 10 minutes on a single line doing 15 takes because I just want to make sure that it's perfect. And we're always our own worst critic. It's turned a lot of really good scenes into excellent scenes. We've all been forced to readjust, but we've all taken that challenge. Normally in a project like this, you're kind of in the dark about things, but we all know what we're doing, what everybody else is capable of. It also helps that we've played these characters a zillion times. Performance-wise, I don't know if it has affected anything other than me just consciously knowing that I'm in a closet. <laughs> it's weird to say it doesn't feel that different. We've adjusted, because what else can you do? Thankfully, we do still have table reads, so we still get to like read it together before we record. I kind of miss being able to go and engage with the development teams and the artists in person and kind of have that around the table designer meetings throughout the week, and it's all just Zoom screens now. I think one of the most rewarding things for us has been casting and recording these characters that we have enjoyed and loved coming out of Matthew Mercer's mouth, but obviously because of reasons, we need to find new voices for them. 
I still want to hold on to some characters that I feel a connection with. So I am excited to be coming in as Silas Briarwood. Beyond that, popping up here and there is all sorts of random characters and NPCs in the world. There will definitely be some voices you will not be surprised to hear. Can't talk about so many things yet, but it's going to be great. <laughs> When it comes right down to it, we love acting with our voices, whether it's in radio commercials or, or video games or our own animated series. So you can bet that we put our heart and soul into every recording of every line. It's crazy that we've got to make this amazing show that I cannot wait for people to see in little pods all by ourselves. It's still coming together just much more slowly and it still sounds so good. Look, every project has love behind it, and I know that you can feel it, but there's something special about this. There's something special about this group. The epic level of this show, I think, is going to blow people away. It was what we were hoping for, and then we quickly realized that even we had to raise our level of expectation because we can. We want this to be a love letter to all the people that supported us through all this time and made all of this possible. I'm a critter too, so I'm as much of a fan as you guys are, so I think you're just gonna love it. I can't wait for people to see it. It's so cool. Everything that's being brought to the table performance-wise is going to level people. There have been challenges, but I think we've all kind of risen to the task of making sure that it didn't prevent us from making this the best show we could make it. I know it's been a long wait for the fans. Trust me, it's worth it.